In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this Oxford University Integration Calculus problems with the Castillo FA Standard 1 ES Plus Scientific Calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will learn not just how to solve these Oxford Integration questions, but basically how to solve integration problems with the Casio FA Standard 1 ES Calculator fast and in seconds. So, in short, it's just the very end of this video. Okay, so let's get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video. So this is Casio FX and our ES Plus scientific calculator. In my previous video, I talked about how to solve Harvard integration questions. I bought like two questions we experimented with. Okay, so I'm going to start from scratch to explain how to solve integration with the Casio calculator. With this calculator specifically for the purpose of those watching my video on solving integration with Casio calculator for the very first time okay so having known that let's go into the details of the video the very first thing you have to do will be to reset this Casio calculator the essence of resetting it is to put it in default mode to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on it to quickly reset it press shift button 9 full instruction option 3 equal to quote to again so now reset now the next thing you have to do will be to store a number Okay, so the two questions we have here are all under indefinite integration. And solving indefinite integration, you need to store a number. Whereas if you are solving definite integral problems, they want to have up and lower limit. Now it is storing number. That one is straightforward. Just go straight and solve it. So for storing number, I always recommend to okay, you can choose to work with any other number apart from two, but I recommend to because I practiced with two for a very long time and I've not found error with it in most cases so 2 is ideal to me so to start to on this calculator you press the number first okay press the call to then press shift i'll say a button i want to start it as x press this x button and it will indicate that this value x has installed as 2 uh the calculator okay so we are good to go now after storing a number you need to Ensure the calculator is in radian mode, not in degree. By default, this calculator is in degree. Okay, so to put it in radian mode, press shift mode option four. So it's not in radian mode. Very important, guys. Don't solve integration in degree. In most cases, you will not get the correct answer. So the ideal mode for it is radian. Coming on that, let's go ahead and solve this question one. The idea behind solving indefinite integration is to simplify or evaluate the question. With the stored value and use the same stored value to differentiate the options. Okay, let's do it together so now you, you understand better. For this question, we're going to simplify it. We have indefinite integral of x plus 3 over s cubed. So, in a fraction, make it the diffraction button. Very, very important. We have x after x plus 3. Okay, over. We have s cubed after x cubed. Okay, so that's all. The DA is not part of what they're going to impute here. What the DA stands for there is function. Just press equal to here. So we have 5 over 8, 0.625. If you press SD, the value will be changed to decimal. Okay, so I'm going to differentiate the options now. Anyone that gives us 0.625 or 5 over 8 will be the answer. So let's check option a remember you differentiate the options very, very important take notes of that so the big idea this function press shift first then this button okay so we have the first option 1 over 2x alpha x okay minus we have in fraction 3 over 2x alpha x square okay then the plus c is not part of what i'm going to put here what that plus c stands for that is it does like a constant attached to the answers of indefinite integrals so you go here and put it in stored very important it also ensure that the brackets are balanced the ones at the right equal the ones at the left very important guys so press equal and see if they're going to have the point six to five one on over four no so let's check option b is non option c option d is so it has to be option c 
so let's just adjust it here we have one over x so we have negative sign there minus one over x then we have minus three over two s square so that's what we have in option c let's press the quotes and see if we are going to have the correct result 0 0.625 so that's correct so the correct answer is what option c that's simple as that guys okay so let's do one more example and after you can call it a class so that you guys understand it better especially if you're watching my video the very first time i had to do this kind of thing so question two we're asked to solve the indefinite integral function of cube roots of x okay so as usual we don't need to clear the calculator is already in radian mode and we have already stored two so we use that same two we start to evaluate the question first so we have cube roots of x to bring it i press shift this roots button so cube roots of x alpha x so let's see what's going to give us we have 1.25 okay so right now we're going to differentiate the option anyone that gives us 1.25 will be our answer so let me with option a so shift this button it will come out so we have in fraction 3 over 4 remember we got 1.25 so 3 over 4 okay x alpha x so we have to the power in fraction 4 over 3 so plus c is not part of what we're going to add so just go ahead and put the two restored press equal to 1.25 correct so that's the answer to this question option a so it's as simple as that guys this is basically how you can solve problems involving indefinite integration with the cast to fn number es plus calculator okay so if i'm comparing these questions to the harvard questions i solved in terms of difficulty the two problems from different schools have almost the same measure of difficulty i wouldn't say that this one is more difficult than the other one they have almost the same level of difficulty okay so that's my judgment on the two schools so that's it for this video hope you find it interesting if you are new to the channel ensure you hit the subscribe button for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video now you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this video or this topic we just treated Feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. Okay, thanks for watching. Once you're done, always clear the calculator, press shift button 9, full instruction. So that's it. We are good to go. I'll see you in my subsequent video.